Some time ago, I was in London doing location research for a novel I was writing at the time. A novel that takes place in New York and London around 1762. Historical fiction, if you will. I tell you that only because one day I was walking down a narrow side street, and I came across this wonderful old curio shop. And I had such a great time in there, I'd like to share just a small portion of that visit with you. And it goes like this. While visiting a curio shop, I happened to spy, way up on a shelf was this great big red dye. While standing there, admiring its size, there came a dapper old gent of diminutive size. <laughs> Hello, Governor. My name is Cy. Are you perhaps looking to buy that red dye? Indeed I am, I said with a snicker. What is the price, and are you willing to dicker? <laughs> well, I'm so sure short, I bought the red dye. Then I looked for a box, but none caught my eye. Tell me, I said to the nice little guy, do you have a box that will hold this red dye? Oh, indeed I do, Governor. Yes, but where could it be? Oh, I remember, we keep it inside the dye. Don't you see? <laughs> well, I opened the dye, and to my surprise, a black and white box was starting to rise. With the box out of the dye, I put the box on the table. All right, Governor, put that dye in that box, if you think you're able. Yeah. Well, I tried, and I tried. But it just wouldn't fit. I was starting to think old size full of <laughs> misinformation. When suddenly inside the die just slid, and I topped it off by adding the lid. So off I went with purchase in hand, the happiest magi in the land, until at home I realized I had no instructions for this die I prized. So I called the store, and to my surprise, he said, you'll find the instructions there inside. I looked, of course, but as you can see, the instructions are written in Chinese. <laughs> I was concerned, didn't know what to do. I don't read Chinese or any. How about you? <laughs> well, some time passed before I could go back to the store. And then they told me old Cy didn't work there anymore. He died, they said. At least we hope so. See, we buried the little fella a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> so now I'm in a quandary, all lost and forlorn, not knowing what to do now that old Cy is gone. Now I can't show you my brand new trick. And it's all because of that little... <laughs> Sigh, the time. Sorry, maybe next time. Yeah.